There is a certain genetic trait to some bodybuilders that helps them stand out in the lineup. When I say it's genetic, I mean someone without it cannot work out a certain way or take supplements to attain the look. It's beyond muscle size and conditioning. This is my best effort at describing the 3D look. It can be spotted with pronounced lines separating the bellies between even the smallest muscles. 3D muscles also tend to cast a lot of shadows. Lastly, they have a quality like they are made of shiny metal when maximally contracted. The 3D effect is not to be confused with having very large muscles. Ronnie was massive, but he did not have the 3D effect over his fellow competitor Flex Wheeler. You can also see it here with the 212 Olympia champion, Sean Clarita. While his chest is by normal metrics the smallest, it has a balloony look making the other competitor's chest look deflated, in contrast to his own. The 3D effect is a wow factor that can propel a competitor over an otherwise larger and even more conditioned physique. Because bodybuilding judges' eyes, like us fans, are going to be naturally drawn to them. While 3D muscles are a blessing, they don't guarantee a win over a fellow competitor with 2D muscles. The trade-off is that 3D muscles are almost exclusively found on bodybuilders with noticeably narrower upper body frames. Being narrow brings staggering disadvantages, especially from the front. A narrow competitor will almost always be giving up the front lat spread to someone wider, and will also be hampered in the abs and thighs where the V-taper is an important component of the pose. It should be noted that narrow structures are by no means guaranteed to have the 3D muscles. And up until recently, I thought narrow clavicles were necessary for the 3D effect. But now we have some wide and 3D anomalies making their presence known. If you're a fan of the 3D look, check out these past and current marvelous physiques. Go ahead and shout out anyone I missed highlighting in this video in the comment section below. That's all I've got for now. I'll see you next time.